that's not even the end of the episode. Oh my god. everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac, and thanks for joining me again on this TV reaction series. And today, I was just going to watch two episodes of Killing Eve, but they've been really good. So I was like, I have time to sneak in one last one if I hurry up. So we're not going to get into a recap of the last episode. We're going to keep rolling through it so we can finish this season on time on Thursday. None of that matters to you because you'll see these weeks and weeks and weeks afterwards. So yeah, if you like this reaction, please consider giving me a like and subscribing down below and hitting the little bell because it really helps my channel grow and get seen by the algorithm and uh, it pushes it out there to everybody else, and I appreciate that. So let's get right into Killing Eve. This one is Season 2, Episode 6. I hope you like Missionary. Oh, baby. That's my favorite position. And mayonnaise is spicy. Let's do it. <sighs> so stupid. She came to see me. She told me what you did. I know you stabbed her. She's a liar. I know, but I do believe her. Did you like it? Does it excite you? It does. Do you want me to love you, or do you want me to frighten you? I don't know. Damn, Go upstairs. Yeah. Oh, hold up, I'm gonna go visit the hub real quick. <laughs> oh, shh. They're gonna have a very strange relationship together. All three of them. That's nice. He didn't like that. I was up all night trying to work out why I felt so unbelievably shitty and sad. I thought you enjoyed it. I did. I loved it. When you got back from Paris, I wanted to talk to you. You wouldn't have understood. I guess we'll never know. I gotta go. Wait. Don't ask me to stay. Let's talk. Don't leave me alone. You're not alone, are you? It's not wrong. She hasn't got married again, has she? Ah, you've met. John's over from Nairobi. We're old friends. <laughs> we are old friends too. Carolyn has old friends everywhere. <laughs> so good. Carolyn Fox is what they're trying to yeah. say. <laughs> oh, that poor kid, he knows. Oh, Carolyn's friends. Oh, friends. Don't do that. Don't just be chaotic. Ah. I can't stand breakfast. It's just constant eggs. I hate eggs. You hate eggs? I can't stand them. In a hookah bar? Well, it's in a hookah bar. In your bag. What's going on? How about the uh, S and M sessions you have with your wife? How do you know about that? There is nothing. We need to speak to this guy. It made for that. Peel had him killed? Urban explorer overreached himself is the official story. My brother used to jam his hamsters into an old uro. Crawl them through with a toothbrush. See how many he could do in a minute. How many could he? Three. <laughs> getting someone close to Peel is about as easy as getting a sex offender into a convent. So quite easy then. You know what I mean. <laughs> He's paranoid. It's not like someone can just swan in in a tight dress. It can't be me. I've already met him. Tell Carolyn it was your idea. So Carolyn's forgiven you then? Have you come here to yell at me? For selling me out and skipping town with Villanelle? No. I've forgotten all about it. It's totally fine. Uh, you're not yelling, but it feels like you're yelling. We want to make you and Villanelle an offer. Hi, partner. You want me not to kill someone. You do know what I do, right? A challenge. I don't like to be challenged. Do you want me to ask someone else? No. Good. So, Aaron, Aaron doesn't like people. The only relationship he has is with his sister. We use her to get to him. She's going to AA meetings in London. What do you want? Gap year tragedy. Who fell in love with her coat dealer. Sun cream heiress from Sydney. No? I know. She's just arrived from New York, and she has a really annoying accent. <laughs> I like her accent. What's her name? Billy. Billy. A couple episodes ago, they talked about Rose Tyler, and now they're talking about Billy. Those Billy Piper played Rose Tyler. Is, this operation is strictly Moscow rules. No messages, no calls, no emails. Aaron will be watching and recording everything. You're the real boss, aren't you? Villanelle. Shh. You don't be disrespectful. Yes, I am. 
Here's our quartermaster. Do I get the watch with a laser in it? I was just gonna say it's like the Q or whatever his name is. Doing this. Do you know how often these jokes get made? A lot. Never. Field agents approach their work with the solemnity it warrants. Grain of wheat microphone. That is so cool. He is what? <laughs> Professional. <laughs> so sorry. They're adorable together. I'm glad that she's a good guy now. I don't get how this works, but I'm happy it's happening. <laughs> Nico not responding. I don't think a BJ will help. He's too normal for you, you know that. So you will never understand how much harder it is to be nice and normal and decent than it is to be like you. Like us, you mean. Would anyone else like to speak? I would. I'm Billy, and I'm an addict whatever I can get. I recognize a lot of what Amber was saying because it is so much harder to be nice and normal and decent than it is to be like this. I hurt someone when I was in Paris. My husband just left. He's too nice. My best friend was killed in an accident. I have nobody left. Poor me. Excuse me? Careful with the self-pity. Did you hear my story? I'm having a really awful time. We've all played the blame game. What would you like to share with the group? Hi, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Tough crowd. It's hard, but it gets easier. You have to be honest. The group can smell bullshit from a mile away. Time to go. The car's outside. See you tomorrow. If you ever use me or my life again, this is over. <laughs> you asked me to come work for you. How can I be honest when I'm being a different person? Aren't you always a different person? Aren't you? At least I'm good at playing someone well, else. Well, not that good, obviously. Don't speak to me like that, Eve. I like you, but I don't like you that much. <laughs> the only thing that makes you interesting is me. Try again in the morning. Kitty, 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 kitty. I don't know, that looked like a reluctant hug to me. Does anyone else have anything they want to say? I would. When you're ready. I have real trouble telling the truth. I don't understand the concept, actually. Most days, I feel nothing. It is so boring. I wake up and I think, I have to do this again? And what I really don't understand is how come everybody else isn't screaming with boredom, too? I try to find ways of making myself feel something. It doesn't make any difference. No matter what I do, I don't feel anything. I, I hurt myself. It doesn't hurt. I buy what I want. I don't want it. I do what I like. I don't... I'm just so bored. I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> that was her truth, and that was accepted. What you said there was so powerful. I've never really tried it before. Hey, are you living here? Right now, yeah. Would you... Pardon me? That you form no associations with anyone within these rooms. You need to give Amber some space. This is none of your business. Back off. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> No, that's everything's off the books, but not that you can't just Oh my god. <laughs> that's not even the end of the episode. Oh my god. You heard about the traffic accident. Yes, tragic, Caroline. It was very upsetting. Yes, I'm sure. Has contact been made between Villanelle and Amber Peel? They've been texting. Well, that's something then. Keep me informed of any developments. Why are you texting? Eve? She might be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ghost! <laughs> it's Amber. Are you free Thursday? Wanna come for family saps? Why do rich people talk like children? <laughs> oh my god. I said I'd come pick my stuff up. How did you get the address? I called the school. I wanted to be helpful. Eve! Hello. Eve was just dropping some things off. Do you come in? Have a cuppa? I'd love to. Oh. Rocking a hard place there, Nico. Been an hour keeping you busy. Yeah. Looks like we're both pretty busy. With work. Can I use your bathroom? Yes. What are you doing, Eve? She's acting a lot like Villanelle did in season one, like how she's just kind of stalking around and... Eve? What are you doing? I'm 
was just um so i i understand that things between you and nico are tough really rather you didn't drag me into this oh really <laughs> you don't want to get dragged in nico you scared of course not hey what are you doing what are you doing nico i'm sleeping downstairs that's not what i asked i'd like you to apologize it's Gemma fine. is my friend you remember friends don't you there's nothing going on here you're right there's nothing going on I hope you like the missionary position. I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. I dread to think where you'll be happy, Eve. So is that it for Nico and Eve? A little bit of bistro. A little bit of bistro? A little bit of bistro, please. Where are you living, Billy? In Shoreditch. I was interning at a startup, but it's pretty intense. Failed intern. No inspiration. <laughs> Why? I couldn't do a job like yours. Running a huge company? No wonder you're selling it. How did you know I was selling it? <laughs> I read an article. Interested in business, are you? You uh, don't seem the type. It was on the magazine pilot for Waxing Swan. Et otus shiriskis. The upanu human is a med. What is that? Turkish? Some kind of Greek. He's trying to provoke her. Where's the bathroom? Mine in his office. Lost. Obviously not. I'm being nosy. You read all these? The lose that way. Try not to be too nosy on your way back. It's not polite. Just don't let him see that he's rattled you. He doesn't like people who stand up to him. Maybe he does like it. Stop smothering her. I know. <laughs> now that they're not in her I head. Think... Just pick anyone. Is this something you two always do? Meaning? I was just asking. You ask a lot of questions. You seem to have the mind of a five-year-old. Why are you being so mean? She's my friend. You're struggling with the rules of Dixit, a simple storytelling game for players aged eight and upward, and yet you claim to have philosophy degrees. I do have philosophy I know. Degrees. I checked, which is why I'm puzzled with this whole faux dits act. What exactly did you study again? General philosophy and social policy and philosophy of religion. Where do you stand on Anselm's ontological argument? Is there just the smallest chance you read the file? <laughs> it's perfectly simple. And it's boring. What's your favorite refutation? See Thomas Aquinas. I think she is taking her earpiece out. Please stop. I mean, it's first year stuff. Even this thicky will be able to follow it. So what's the first premise? Tell us what ontological means. Can you even spell it? Can you spell knife? Here you are. If you're going to lie, at least do a bit of research. I get it. You're framed very well. You're a bully. My dad taught me that there is only one way to communicate with a bully. And what was his advice? Beat the shit out of him. What just happened? Let it cool off. Well, that's it then. It's over. But what is another thing? Lamb? Mainly? Mainly? Yeah. But you can put any meat in lamb? People will eat anything if you cut it thin enough and put hot sauce on it. Anything, really. Oh my god. Can I have some chips, please? Mm. Oh shit. Oh my god. We thought we were in trouble. You wanna walk with us? It's dark. Probably safer. I would love that. Alright. Kind of a weird ending. All right, guys, that was Killing Eve Season 2, Episode 6. I hope you like Missionary. And that was kind of like the Missionary-style episode of Season 2 so far, I think. Not a lot happened. As you can see, my notes are just kind of like... I mean, I scribble them. Didn't write a lot down. But yeah, we get more Villanelle working with Eve and meeting Caroline. Caroline. Who even Villanelle recognized as the big bad. Uh, hold on. Hey, Graham. Sorry, I had my grandma call and I had to talk to her for a little bit. I guess we can just go over this episode real quick again. We got Villanelle now working with Eve, trying to infiltrate the tech dude by having Villanelle pose as like a drug slash alcoholic to get close to his sister. Kind of a filler episode, but it was still really good just to see them working together. And Eve and Villanelle just together is... I love it. I love their episodes together. They're so good. I was curious to see why Villanelle was stalking those girls for no reason. And then she was asking about like the shawarma. I think that was shawarma rotisserie thing. She's not going to like put a person on one of those, is she? And then like feed people. I wouldn't put it past Villanelle because in this episode, she did have this breakdown where she says she doesn't feel anything and she's just so bored. 
and I think she does things that are crazy just to see if it'll elicit some emotion out of her. I don't know. It was just, it was a good episode. Filler, but it was a good episode. I know we only got two episodes left, seven and eight. So I'm really excited to see this. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment box down below. And uh, leave a like and subscribe if you did. And hit the bell to let you know when my new episodes come out. Usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're going to go outside, wear a mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you next week with more Killing Eve. Take it easy, guys. I hope you like the missionary position.